My name is Edi Shakirpur. I was born in Iran. Yeah, I came to USA as 1988. It's end of 88. After three weeks, I find a job in USA. This picture is belong to a long time ago. Uh, inside the picture is my, my mom, my grandma, my grand-grandma. <laughs> My dad. Reactive medicine is the medicine that we've practiced in the United States for decades. It involves treating a disease and illness when it occurs. You come to see your physician, your other healthcare clinicians, when, um, when something's wrong with you. And what excites me is, can I prevent you from having heart disease? I've spent much of my career treating you if you've had heart disease. I'd like to spend the rest of my career preventing you from having heart disease. Human White is really an opportunity to be able to take a subset of patients and it allow us to be able to wrap our arms around these folks in a unique way. So it's been said that the zip code is more important than genetic code and that's a real strength of Human White because some of the socioeconomic or environmental factors are just as important as the genetic factors and that's why it's important that Human White takes such a broad approach. We now view the relationship between life and disease in a much more holistic sense. Um, good things and bad things are happening all the way and we can influence them literally from the moment of conception. Not only do we need to involve patients and their families much more in making decisions, informed decisions, about the type of care they're receiving for the, for the treatment of diseases like cancer and heart disease, but also that approach needs to change at the primary care level because there is so much that each of us can do to be engaged proactively in our health and our well-being. Human-wide um, is a pilot that we are conducting in a primary care clinic in Santa Clara. We at that clinic have also implemented a team-based care model, which we think is going to help us transform what we're doing in primary care. The focus of human-wide is to consider how can we leverage the best of the art and science of medicine that we have at Stanford and across the country and the world. Technology, genomics, uh, diagnostics, how do we leverage that so that we are uh, focusing on prevention and proactive care to prevent disease before it strikes. Betty Shakapur, um, 68 year old, has uh, high cholesterol, hyperlipidemia, and back pain. This is good for my lower back to release the pain. This lower back is bothering me a lot because I went to physical therapy, gym, still I have this problem. They said it's better to check my DNA to find out about the, all the medicine. Tomorrow they're gonna explain to me to see what is the result of the DNA they did already, you know, t from the, my blood test. They're gonna find out what's going on because I still I don't know. 
It's, it's good that you're enrolled in this pilot mm -hmm. because the biggest topic that we should probably address today is the pharmacogenomics results sure. and how that might impact your the dosages of your medications okay, and so it. we can uh, address that now. There are two uh, medications that we probably need, need to, to address because right. your uh, metabolism of these medications is slowed down so you don't need to take um, such a high dose. That's right. Which yeah. is great. Have you ever had any side effects from taking the cholesterol lowering medications? Right now most of my muscle mm -hmm. is tense. I have a pain. By lowering the atorvastatin, because you don't need such a high dose, mm -hmm. by lowering it, you, um, you experience less side effects. Perhaps that yeah, was a they, side effect from the medication. Yeah, they, they told me to. Yeah, That's right. so then we'll, we'll definitely we'll do, do that. Too. So I would probably go down to five milligrams of the omeprazole and five milligrams of the atorvastatin. That's right. Okay, so I'll go and do that now. And I'll see you in four weeks. You sure. can review your blood pressure is the one thing that I want to uh, sure. continue to pay attention to. I appreciate it. I think with Human Wide, what we are attempting to do is uh, to take primary care 2.0 to sort of the next level and, uh, and to bring our goals in precision health to life. We want to help patients. We don't want to treat their diseases, we want to treat them. And that's what Human Wide lets you do. That's what any good primary care practice should let you do, and this is even more so. But also, the information gathered from them in this study will enable us to design approaches to primary care that will benefit, we believe, hundreds and then thousands of other people down the road.